Hey, welcome to another week of the dev vlog. This one's gonna be a short update. We didn't do much this week, but um, we did something. So this week we've introduced an inventory uh, system. So items can be placed on the map and picked up by the user, player, or monster even, any entity. Since we're using the entity component system, any entity can pick up an item, which is a component. So following the guide, we've introduced health potions and the player can move around and pick these up off the ground. Uh, the only way we've deviated from the guide is that instead of using the symbol that they suggest, we use the cross symbol to try show that it's a health packet like you have in some first person shooter games. The only thing that bothered me is the uh, plus sign is slightly aligned to the to one side. I don't know why that is yet, but I'm hoping to sort that out because I wanted to have it in the middle to like give it a perfect uh, symmetrical shape. So basically we have some components which are items and health potions and they can be, they're basically registered like everything else is in this entity component system. We've changed the spawner a little bit too. So monsters and potions don't all spawn like evenly, but they're slightly randomly distributed. You have four monsters in one room maybe none in another, maybe four potions in one room and none in another. And yeah, other than that, there's nothing really special going on just yet. We've introduced uh, the ability of a user to pick something up. Now at the moment the user picks it up, but it doesn't actually do anything yet. So we're gonna, next thing for this week, we're going to introduce a inventory system where the user can scroll through their stuff and use it. Um, and this again is following on from the guide, but uh, this will be interesting because once we have items introduced, we can have items that do multiple different things or even do something random which will be fun to introduce and will deviate a little bit from the tutorial. And yeah, looking forward to this part of things. Although we didn't do much this week, we're still ahead of the roguelike dev forum. So I think overall we're making good progress. Still hoping to finish this out and keep these uh, vlogs. It would be fun to deviate from the tutorial, but at the moment I think that wouldn't be a wise idea until I get fully to grips with this entity component system and the library. So following on the tutorial for the next couple of weeks and then hopefully we can start to deviate even more. But with little things like items and colors, we've already started to deviate and uh, hope to do that a bit more and then eventually maybe create something unique from what we're learning here. So, all right, tune in next week for more. Bye.